Hey, it's Neha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making homemade pitas. This recipe makes eight pita. So we're just going to start off with half a cup of warm water, half a tablespoon of sugar, and half a tablespoon of active yeast. Cover it with a dry towel for about 10 minutes and let the yeast work and bubble up. Now let's move on to the dry ingredients. In a separate bowl, I have two cups of all-purpose flour. Add in one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Let's whisk this all together and set this aside. So these are the bubbles that we are looking for. This tells you that your yeast is still good and it's not expired. So now we'll slowly incorporate the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients. You can definitely do this by hand or you can use your KitchenAid to mix this. So while mixing the dough, I added in half a cup of warm water. Now that it's well kneaded, Cover it up, let it rest for about one hour. Now that it's doubled in size, remove it from your bowl and we're just going to place it on something that we can roll this dough on. I'm gonna cut these into eight pieces. Now just roll these up and let it rest for about 10 minutes. Do make sure that you're covering this up while we're waiting. So I floured my surface area here and just put one of the dough balls and we're just going to roll it up. I just put my dough just on here and then I just cover this one up as well. Now I have my pan on high and just add in a little bit of oil. Just put it on and let it cook for one minute on each side. So not every one of your pita is going to bubble up like this. But that's okay. As long as it tastes good, that's all that matters. <laughs> so when you're frying up these pitas, just remember that not all of the pitas are going to take the same time to cook. So if you can get it to a shade that you like then and you're happy with it, then you can remove it from the pan or flip it on the other side. You know when you have a really great pita is when you can open it up and stuff it with your chicken, your hummus, anything that you like. So I do have a video on chicken shawarma. I will be putting the link up above. And this is it. This is my video and my recipe in regards to pita. If you try it, do let me know. And honestly, for me right now, I can't wait to dig in. <laughs> so don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and hit that bell notification for my newest videos. See you next time.